All right, my friends, so once you have the software installed and you open up the Lego Mindswords Education EV3 Classroom app or software, you're going to see this page here. And what this is, is it gives you everything you really need. This is the home page where you could do some quick little three fun activity. If you want to go ahead and do that, um, I encourage you to do so. Um, but what we're going to be focusing on are these unit plans. And so if you want to start here, do it. But we're going to focus our energy on this unit plan right down here. So when we click this, it's going to take us to some unit plans. Now there are some really great things for you to use in your classroom. The robot trainer, the engineering lab, and the space challenge. What we're going to do is focus on the robot trainer. And this is a great thing to do with your students if they're new to LEGO EV3 Mindstorms. Um, and this is good for you. So remember, you are going to be treated as if you're the student and I'm the teacher in this class. But I want you to be thinking about how you can use this and apply some of these lessons, ideas, units um, to your own classroom with students. At the same time, our goal is to build confidence in you to understand the basics of the robot. So what you're going to do here is we're going to start this very first one, moves and turns. And you can see that our goal here is to get us going into building a wheeled robot that can move through and, and do some stuff. So the way this works in the software is you just click start. And if you've never used EV3 software before, what's really cool and great about um, the lessons is you got all your coding blocked over here, which we'll get to, but you've got these panels right here off to the right. And you can see we're on page one of six. And you can actually create these types of things for yourself to use in your class to then share with students. And so there's some really great ideas out there. But what it's done here is it gives you um, a little intro slide, right? All the ways we can think about a driving base should be able to turn and move and have those conversations about those types of robots. You click this little blue arrow, and it's going to take you over to part two. And this tells you what you need. We need this driving base. And so you're going to need to build that. Um, and so in order to do that, you will click here on this build. And I'll show you that here in just a second. And it'll take you through the steps to build the robot. And that's what you need to do first. Before you go any further, you need to build the EV3 robot, this, this trainer robot driving base. And so once you do that, and like I said, I'll come back to that. You then go to step three, all right, and you can try these coding stacks, and, and we'll come back to this with some video where you can download and just run these programs for your robot. You can see we're not connected, but we'll, we'll show you how to do that here soon. Number four then gives you a challenge that you need to use the blocks from the programming stacks that are already on the programming canvas that has your robot move in three different ways. And it gives you some help and advice here. And then step five gives you another challenge to move 84 centimeters. And then number six is just to be able to see how well did you do. And in our case, we're going to have you document that and share that, uh, you know, via Flipgrid. So let's go back. Let's not get too far ahead. I just want to explain how this little slide deck works. You need to go right here first. Step two, build the driving base. So when you hit build, it's going to take you to the build guide, all right? And you're just going to work through step by step. It's going to tell you the parts here in this gray box if you haven't built with Lego for a while. And it's going to tell you how many you need. So one motor, one blue connector pin. And then the bill will show you then where to insert these pieces. So as you get going, all right, it's going to tell you exactly what you need. One little thing when it comes to axles, Obviously, we see here that we need one of them. This four is the length of the axle. And if you're not sure how to measure that, four, if you take it, one of these black axles and you line it up, say, here on, uh, and on these pinholes on any beam, it'll be the length of four holes. So it's a good way to measure that way. On your kit, you should have a insert card that also has a, a chart laid out for you to kind of measure up as well. So you need to go ahead and get your robot built. And from there, we will move on 
to the next step. But number one, build your robot and then go ahead and send us a picture of your completed build. And you know what? I'm gonna go build mine right now as well.